Hello, welcome to another MetroCore and we have a keyboard here. Why you may ask? Well, every day I use a keyboard in work and I do a lot of typing at home. In fact, this is my home PC keyboard right over here. It's a Logitech G213. Plus I also have the Logitech G300S mouse. Quite a nice setup it is. But this is the keyboard I've been using on my, what can we say, uh, emulation PC, <laughs> we'll call it my secondary PC. And yeah, this is not a very good keyboard. And in fact, it keeps disconnecting all the time. So I recently went and got one of these keyboards. Oh yes. Now, thing is, this is a gamer's keyboard at a cheap price. Now I've had keyboards from Ajaz in the past and they were pretty crap, but they've stepped up their game an awful lot over the last couple of years. So much so that this one actually is a worthy gamer's keyboard. All the switches are MX Cherry switches. Just listen. Lovely and clicky. Very nice indeed. So being a gamer's keyboard, it's gonna have a lot of different functions, such as using the function key in F1 will bring up a media player, for example. Function key and other F keys do other things, such as open up your mail, launch in your internet browser, and you can even set it to launch a game, things like that. But that's not why I like this keyboard, because you know, most keyboards can do that. What I like about this keyboard is the way it's built. Look at it, if I press here, there is no flexing, it is solid. And that's because the whole top of the keyboard is made of steel. It's quite a heavy keyboard. It feels like a quasi product. That is metal. And the bottom of the keyboard, as we can see, if we turn it around, is made of a very sturdy hard plastic. We also get the rubber feet here that stop it sliding around. Or if you want, you can lift up these little feet here, which give it an elevated position. But even with those lifted up, it is still rather solid, but it does slide around a little bit. So I prefer not to use them. I have them down and that ain't going anywhere. That is rock solid there. Now, one nice thing about it is the RGB display. And of course we could have RGB, it's a gamer's keyboard. But what is kind of cool is the side panels here, which lights up green. Look at that, that is kind of cool. And as you can see, it is quite bright, but you can turn down the brightness. I have the lights on here and it's still picking up the lights very well. Now there are a variety of different functions you can have for your LED patterns, such as the typical breathing one where it seems to be breathing over here, but not over here for some reason. So we change that, there we go. It's breathing on all keys now. All right, one that I really like is this function here. Now it looks like it's being switched off, but what happens is when you press a key, it lights up from the button that you pressed, which I think is rather funky. So I can type away and you can see it just lights up from over here. So if I press the uh, minus key here, the lights will spread from here all the way to the escape key up here. Watch this. Yeah, that is pretty cool. So there are lots of different patterns for the lights. You know, if that's your type of thing, you can just have it running randomly as well like that. Here you go, there's another weird one. So yeah, it's quite interesting if that's your thing. Actually, I'm gonna keep it on that one because I, oh, this is a, this is a nice one. It's the reverse of what I just showed you. So when you press a key, it's kind of like a ripple effect. If you drop like a drop of water into a pond, the key is actually, black out from where you press it. So if I press the uh, return key, not a minus key, return key from over here, it's going to uh, black out all the way to the escape key. Watch this, look at that. So it's kind of the opposite, but um, I do like uh, this one. I think that's pretty cool. Now, how is it as far as keyboard functionality goes? Is it a good keyboard to type on? Well, I think so. So let's try and type something and I'm gonna do it in my weird one-handed typing style. Yeah, very nice. And as you can see, it hasn't missed out a certain, a single letter, sorry, on the uh, typing there. It's very, very nice to type on. It's really responsive. 
Same thing with gaming, I've played some games on it emulation wise and the response is unbelievable. So yeah, I am a very happy person with this keyboard. It really does deliver everything I'd wanted to. Solid build, very responsive, lovely to type on, nice travel to the keys and it has a nice clicky feel to them. You don't have to hammer the keys either, just a very nice slight touch and you get what you want. Now this keyboard also came with a mouse and here it is. Let's move the keyboard up a little bit. Now, unlike the keyboard, the mouse isn't that good. It's kind of cheap and nasty. It's, it's crap, basically. Um, I mean, yeah, it works, but yeah, it feels cheap. It feels plasticky. It doesn't feel good at all. Um, it has a scroll wheel. So uh, let's get the internet up here. Let's uh, go onto the internet. And now we'll start up a bit of YouTube. There we go. So you can see the uh, scroll wheel here is working just fine. But um, yeah, it's uh, not the uh, best of mice. Let's put it that way. And one of the annoying thing is, is that you can't choose what color uh, the mouse shines. So basically it's always gonna cycle through the RGB colors. You can switch them off by holding down the center button here um, yeah, there you go, it's now off. But you can't choose what color you want, so that is a bit uh, of a disappointment. Even uh, with a couple of combinations on the keys, we don't seem to get any uh, options there as far as colors are concerned. On the bottom of the mouse, you can see it's got the typical pads, little slidey pads there, and this sticker. It, it doesn't feel nice. It, feels quite cheap but it's a freebie it came with the keyboard and the keyboard is what we are paying for and I'm happy to say that this is a very nice quality mechanical keyboard or gamers keyboard as they're now known so I can seriously recommend one of these keyboards they handle really really well now the layout of this particular model is American or I presume it's American Japanese layout is kind of different because we have different functions over here for example, on a Japanese keyboard, if you want a comma, you press the shift and seven key. Whereas on this, it's uh, some sort of weird and sign as that. Also, the at mark is usually over here on a Japanese keyboard. In fact, I'll show you. Here's a Japanese keyboard. And you can see the at mark is here and our commas up here. So there are slight differences and we do have some more keys. If there was one downside to uh, using this type of keyboard for me, because I've been brought up using Japanese keyboards, it's the enter key on a japanese keyboard the enter key is massive um same on my logitech it's a big key very easy to hit very easy not to miss but on this one i kept pressing up here and down on the shift when i should be pressing here so um yeah me it's a little bit weird but i'll get used to it anyway i don't know if these come in different types of variations like an english style or whatever but uh please check out the link in the video description down below Maybe you can. Um, the one I got sent was an American version. I presume this is an American layout. I don't know, but <laughs> this is the one I'm gonna to have to learn to use on this particular PC. Anyway, that's all for now. As I mentioned, link in the video description down below if you're after one of these keyboards. Let's put it on a nice little uh, display pattern while we're out. Oh, this is one function I forgot to tell you. This is a nice function. So see here, we've got the lights shining here we can actually highlight just individual keys that we may want to use. So say you're playing a game and you want certain keys highlighted, you can you know, set them up on here and it will remember the uh, settings. So that is very handy for playing games in the dark if you just want to see particular keys. All right. So until next time guys, keep on gaming and enjoy your games. See ya.